first of all, saying that that's a, that's a good football team that we just played. And very well coached, uh, great front seven, a uh, veteran football team. Um, and we knew we were in for a battle tonight. But let, let me just let, let me start off by saying this too about our football team that uh, these guys fought, they, they, they fought their tail off, uh, they didn't back down. There was no challenge too big for them. Uh, I'm extremely proud of the way that these guys fought, and especially of the adversity that this team has had to battle over the last two weeks. Uh, they keep caring, they keep giving what we ask them to give, and that's a that's a sign of a football team that's going to continue to get better. And that's just what I what I can ask <coughs> these guys. There's a lot of hurt in that locker room that's hurting that coach's office right now and um, because they care. And uh, we're going to continue to get better. There's the little things. I keep talking about the little things over and over. The little things, um, the, uh, the special teams, and, and, the, and the, the two weeks in a row now, the, the battle of field position. Um, defensively, uh, to have to go uh, on a short field several times over, I'll be put in a... Um, first responder, so to speak, uh, uh, and, and having the back against the wall um, was, uh, and, and st still kept coming out and still fighting and making plays. And um, that's a credit to, to, to Coach Chavis and our defensive staff and had a great plan and our players believed in that plan to hold the football team and offense at this caliber um, like we did. Um, again, um, you know, I thought that there were some, some things we got to continue to get better at and um, we will. We got to clean up some things offensively, and definitely we got to clean up things in special teams. So with that, I'll open up for questions. Chan, how do you think Ty play, and do you feel like he, he's your starter now? I thought Ty was a warrior. I thought he was a warrior. I thought he was gritty. I uh, thought he played with a chip on his shoulder, and, um, and 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 the moment was not too big for him. Obviously, there's some throws that we wish we'd have had back, but this is a guy that, uh, um, man, he, he he kept fighting just like they all did. I'm, I'm very proud of Ty. I mean, I'm extremely proud of him moving forward, and and, um, and obviously his the way he played tonight and continue to, to to move the football team. And obviously we got to get better. We got to get better in all areas. But yes, Ty is. Uh, I thought Ty did some really good things tonight. And do you, do you see your starter moving forward? Uh, I do. Yes. Okay. Did so, you ever think about not punting and just going for it on fourth down? Well, we did right there at the end. You know when. Uh, we, we, it would have cut the lead to 18 at that time. Still a three-score game. Uh, that was my my uh, that was my fault. There was see if we can't pick up the first down. And um, but you know because of the battle field position where we were, you know our back was against the wall. A lot of the times when we punted, we were we were deep on our side of the territory. And um, and no, I, I didn't. I didn't. I, we had to get the ball out. We had to flip the field as much as we could. Um, we were, we were con uh, constantly offense was set with a long field ahead of them, and, and against a defense of that magnitude, it's hard to do. And, uh, Coach, uh, you got a spark from Boyd. Um, is, is that something you can kind of hang your hat on a little bit? Well, I think you know, as you always look each week to, to see guys that continue to develop and continue to get better, and and Rakeem has shown that. You know, it's he's only been here since what, um, what July, late July, August, and and uh, just get himself into, into, into really game shape, so to speak. Um, he's continued to get better. And so it was great to see him and the spark that he provided tonight running the football, catching the ball. Coach, they only made one drive that was the length of the field. What, did, what do you think about the, the way your defense played? And, and what did you guys do through the week to, to get them motivated? For we showed up every day. These guys showed up every day. And uh, they showed up every day and they came to work. Coach Chavis and those guys put a great plan together, um, and you know these guys believe in the plan. They believe in each other, and um, I, I was I was very very impressed with the way these guys fought. Did it surprise me the way they fought? No, it didn't surprise me because that's what they've shown to do, and that's what they've been doing. These guys care, and um, they they they'll they'll come back, and, and you know as I share with them, you know adversity is going to make us stronger. Uh, we'll keep pushing this thing forward and keep getting better. Coach uh, Dre Greenwald, 13 tackles a sack and three tackles for loss. Talk about his impact. Yeah, you know when you get get a, a leader of that caliber back on this team um, that's been out the last few weeks, it, it definitely makes an impact. It gives everybody a spark, um, and I think he definitely had a huge impact defensively, and, and, and more so than anything, the continuity that he brings to the entire group when they're all in there together. 
What, what was it like coaching against the guys? What did you guys say to each other after the game? Well, I just congratulated him. And, and, you know, he's got a, a great, you know, great football team, and, and uh, has done great here with his program. And, and it's his sixth year, or whatever it is he's been, he's, he's done, a, done a great job. And just congratulated him, wished him the best of luck. And, and I'm sure he and I will talk this week. But um, and what, what was it like coaching against them? Well, I, I mean, it, you know, it was. It, it, we we talk all the time. It's um, you know, before the game, we talk just a little bit, but uh, uh, you know, it, it's just like coaching any other game. I mean, it, it really, it really wasn't no point in time in the game. I was thinking that that was Gus on that sidelines. I mean, it was, it was just, a, it was another opponent. We were trying to get get ourselves better. You made a, you made a move and had Barry down on the field, dusting up in the box. The decision to do that. And... Yeah, I, you know what? I, I wanted to do that for. Um, from just a, an offensive line standpoint, to be able to see the see the fronts a little bit better, get a little bit better, uh, um, some information maybe down from the box from an O line run game standpoint, um, and I thought that it would help us in some of the substitutions down on the sidelines, bringing Barry down. He shuffled the line, started tight center, moved to yelled back to left tackle. Obviously, Colton started. How would you feel like? That went. Why did you decide to, to swap uh, Yelton? Uh, yelp, uh, well, we, we've been working that um, the last well several weeks, and once we knew Colton was coming back, and I was going to try to be able to get to see if we can create some depth, and um, and we just felt like that that may be the best five combination we could have, and we worked it, been working it the last couple of weeks, and trying to get ready for this moment if it, if it happened, and we chose to go ahead and do it. Will you, you, you stay there. I will. Is there a way to correct the special team's mistakes in a week? Well, I think, well, you know, outside of going back and watching the film and seeing exactly what broke down, I mean, we're in position to make a tackle. We've got to be able to make tackles, number one. Um, you know, and, and so we'll go back in and look at that and see what we've got to do. And, you know, we try to play as many starters on those units as you can. And uh, so we'll go back and look at personnel and see how that works and look at scheme and see what, what they were doing, if, if there was any tips or tendencies. But, We'll go back to work. That's the, that's the first thing we're going to do. I know the score is obviously not what you want, but do you feel like you guys maybe made some progress tonight, took a step in the right direction? Well, I think this football team continues to improve every day, and and we've got a, there's there's winning is not acceptable in this or losing is not acceptable in this program at all, and um, and we're, we're, there's no there's no moral victories, um, but there's opportunities to continue to grow and opportunities to continue to get better. And you, you, this is where we are right now with this program. We're going to take the good out of tonight, but we're also going to take the corrections that we got to have and continue to get better. And that's what we're going to ask these guys in there. And it, as, as we mentioned, these, these, these times of growth that we're going through will only make us stronger and better. What did you see from Todd this week? I mean, not so much the game, but just maybe leading the team. I saw confidence. Uh, that was probably the biggest thing I saw. I saw confidence in a guy that uh, – that uh, that was ready, and that, that's that's what he wanted. And um, as I shared with him on Sunday, and he responded. His exact words to me on Sunday is says, "Let's go, coach." I think the offense, the, the chunk plays, um, put, put you guys in the in the scoring position or in, in the Auburn territory. Uh, how frustrating was it to, to not get more points? I thought it was big plays that kind of set you guys up. Well, you know, we missed the forty-yard field goal. And um, that was that was disheartening. Then when we do get points and we can't, you know, we've got a little momentum on our side, and we, we kick off and then run the kickoff back. And so any momentum that we had, we were battling trying to get the momentum on our side. And so um, you know, when you get down there, especially against teams like this, you got to come away with some type of point, especially early in the game. And um, and then you know our, our opportunity to, to when we did have something happen, we would get a penalty and back us up. And so those are things that we've got to, we've got to correct. Any more questions for Coach? Callaway, his what's his status? Uh, he's still he's still out right now. Thanks, Coach. Thanks. Thanks.